Give it. Two, three. Sit those knees. Swing yours. Stay on this. Como hacemos. Se lo viene realidad. Hey, I'm Manuela with Bio Accelerator. I'm here with John Hennigan. Hey. Hola. I am uh, the mayor of Slamtown, the man with probably the most ring names in the history of the wrestling biz, Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, John Morrison, but here today in Medellin. Cool. Okay, so John, how did you learn about Bio Accelerator? So, first of all, um, before I even knew about Bio Accelerator, stem cells is the bee's knees these days. Everybody is looking it up because it's cutting edge medical science, cutting edge medicine. Something that everybody in the States has been chasing for years, the fountain of youth, the ability to heal injuries at a faster rate than what usually happens. So in my search for bio accelerator, I kept running into people that I know and um, whose intelligence I respect, Kevin Nash, Rybeck, Rey Mysterio, and, um, and even guys like Chuck Liddell and Matt Hughes that I don't know personally that came to get treatment here at BioAccelerator and um, were raving about it, telling me uh, this, is, like, this is the next chapter of worldwide medicine. And um, I don't know if you know this or not, but sometimes pro wrestlers walk around feeling grizzled. By that I mean sometimes my back feels like a, like a line of paper clips held together with duct tape. Mm -hmm. My knees pop, my elbows pop, my shoulders, everything's a little bit wonky. Um, probably because the human body was not meant to fall down <laughs> hundreds of times a week. And um, in pro wrestling, that's what we do. And um, sometimes you get it perfect and um, you walk away and it feels just fine. But there's a lot of times where things don't go exactly as planned. And uh, you walk away bruised and battered, a little bit sore. And um, in the, the biz of pro wrestling, you just get more sore and more sore because you don't get days off. You don't have a, a season like a lot of sports do. So um, I've been walking around feeling like a punching bag <laughs> for a long time, looking for a, a place to get really uh, effective stem cell therapy when I heard about BioAccelerator. And, um, I was like, yeah, you know what? Now's the time I'm gonna check this out and give it a try. Okay, how was the process uh, with the patient advocate setting up the consultation with the doctor for you? Oh man. The first person that I reached out to with BioAccelerator was David Truitt. And um, he'd already been speaking to a number of my colleagues, the people that I mentioned. It was refreshing to talk to someone who was knowledgeable and really excited about stem cells. Um, David Drewitt has this, uh, this unabashed enthusiasm for bioaccelerator and stem cell therapy because he in his heart believes that it is the best way to help athletes extend their careers, to help anybody get over an injury faster. And um, I, I believe as we move forward into the future, stem cells are going to become more and more of a thing. And um, when I talked to him and he let me know exactly how Biolook Accelerator obtains their stem cells and um, where the clinic is and all the doctors that are involved, um, it really put my mind at ease. I went forward and uh, did more and more research as far as um, like how the stem cells are applied, like where you get stem cells, how you even count stem cells. I mean, mm -hmm. I've received 330 million stem cells, for example, with Bioaccelerator. So all, all that stuff really is, uh, I guess it's been building for like 10 years, looking into this and Googling it in my free time. Um, before I came, I uh, called around and talked to some doctors. Um, I, I talked to a, a doctor at an American clinic in Baltimore. Um, I talked to a guy that, that runs a clinic in Mexico. And um, they honestly didn't have a ton of information on BioAccelerator. It had a handful of people say that um, it was very professional and a lot of people that had been loved it. But what they did say that eased my fears, because let's be honest, like anytime you undergo any sort of medical treatment, you can get a little bit nervous. Um, I had heard nothing bad at all about BioAccelerator. Um, no complaints, nobody saying that they, they felt like it was a waste of time or money. And um, that combined with the people that I know that had been here for treatment and were raving about it, is uh, what made me decide.
As far as my expectations about what I expected before I came to BioAccelerator, that changed substantially over the past 10 years because when I started getting interested in stem cell therapy, I really didn't have much knowledge and there wasn't much knowledge out there even. There was little blogs and comedic stories um, like the episode of South Park that I mentioned. But um, over the past several years, the knowledge base and the people that have come to get treatment at BioAccelerator and places like BioAccelerator have expanded exponentially, which uh, to me is a good sign because when something like that happens, I feel like it means there's something to stem cells like, and works. Otherwise, more and more people wouldn't be getting into it. Um, I really had no idea what to expect <laughs> like a year ago as far as like, I didn't even really know how stem cells were administered or how they were obtained. Um, but as the date approached and I was doing more research, um, I watched Matt Hughes' video from his experience down here and um, that uh, put me at ease quite a bit. And I'd say I felt like I knew what I was walking into, but when I got down here, I was, uh, I was impressed. Um, like all the doctors, I mean, we're doing the procedures in a, a hospital, and not just any hospital, a very nice hospital, um, with uh, neurologists, osteopaths, um, anesthesiologists, the, the staff of BioAccelerator, um, yourself included, is, a, is very nice, welcoming, and knowledgeable, and um, the, the physicians administering the stem cells are, are open with um, everything. They answered all my questions, and um, they're doctors. You know, like this is a this is a very legitimate place, and um, it's not like I expected it to suck. But <laughs> since I've been here, I've been um, impressed. I'd say it's exceeded my expectations. What would you say to someone who's interested in doing stem cell therapy? Would you recommend it? Um, I would say do it. <laughs> um, now's the time. It's still cutting edge, and um, it's like a, I would compare this to investing in Tesla, like way, uh, way back before they became super mainstream. Um, I believe stem cell therapy and um, all the, the methods and techniques have evolved quite a bit and they're going to continue to evolve as demand for stem cell therapy increases. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're at a point now where it's safe, it's effective. Um, how effective I can't personally say because I just got most of my stem cells yesterday. <laughs> But um, as demand increases, I think it's going to be harder and harder to find a place like BioAccelerator to get into because you guys are going to be busy. Do you have any other words you'd like to share with us? There are a lot of people that follow me on social media and um, my family and friends also who have been a little bit apprehensive about this treatment. Um, a lot of people are asking me, what's, what's wrong with me? Am I injured? Why am I in the hospital? And um, it's not that I'm injured, it's just that I feel like this uh, opportunity for stem cell therapy is a chance for me to walk around without my ankle clicking and my, my knees hurting and my shoulders hurting all the time. And I'm hoping it levels me up physically. Um, I've been a pro wrestler now and taken bumps for almost 18 years. So, there's a lot of bumps, it's a long time. And um, I'm still in my prime physically and mentally. And this is what I'm hoping is gonna turn into my secret weapon, so to speak, a way that I can continue to do what I love at a very high level for longer. So, um, like I said, I can't speak to the effectiveness from personal experience because I just got the stem cells yesterday. I can't say I've enjoyed my time here. Everything's been above the board. All the people have been very professional. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming to BioAccelerator um, into the future, maybe annually or every six months or, uh, or every week. We'll do that, is that too soon?